New Testament epistle to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 23 through 25, in the New Living Translation of the Holy Bible, reads, Let us hold tightly, without wavering, to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. Let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. Clergymen cite the phrase, let us not neglect our meeting together, when they want to chide those who have stopped coming to church services. However, the phrase meeting together probably does not refer to church services for two reasons. First, church services do not allow attenders opportunity, quote, to motivate one another to acts of love and good works, unquote, nor to encourage one another, since only the clergy are allowed to speak. Second, the original Greek word translated meeting together, episunagoge, was never used to refer to regular gatherings, assemblies, or church services. Episunagoge, an unusual word, in secular Greek referred to a collection of items or money or to a cluster of stars. In the ancient Greek Bible, Episunagoge occurs only three times, always referring to the Lord's coming. The first occurrence of Episunagoge is found in 2 Maccabees 2 verse 7, where the prophet Jeremiah, referring to a hiding place for temple treasures, says, The place shall remain unknown until God gathers his people together, Episunagoge, again and shows his mercy. In Paul's second epistle to the Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 1, he borrows this word from 2 Maccabees, applying it to our future resurrection, that is, quote, the coming of our Lord Jesus and how we will be gathered, episunagoge, to meet him, end of quote. This meaning fits well in the context of Hebrews 10.25, in which verse 23 begins, quote, hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, unquote. And verse 25 ends with, quote, The day of his return is drawing near, unquote. Thus, Hebrews 10.25 exhorts Christians not to neglect teaching about Jesus' second coming and our resurrection whenever and wherever they gather to motivate and to encourage one another.